I will be doing a quick tank review for the Chinese tier 3 light tank, the Dichiha. For all attendant purposes, this vehicle plays just like the Japanese tier 3 medium tank, which is the thing Chiha. The only difference between this and to the Jap Japanese tank version is the Chinese one. It's a light tank compared to a medium for the Japanese. So let's get into the vehicle stats them, uh, themselves. Let's uh, begin off uh, with the firepower stat. The top gun, it's a 47mm gun, which is pretty good at this tier. You have a high rate of fire with a good penetration value. Unfortunately, the accuracy, the aiming time, it is not that uh, great. But with the high rate of fire and the damage output per a shot, you can potentially easily destroy a vehicle from 4 hit points to 0 in a minute if you have to with a 20 rounds per a minute. The penetration is pretty good for regular AP and APCR, so you can penetrate most tanks easily enough. I would recommend only using APCR rounds for the heavily armored tier 4 and 5 tanks that you will be going up against. The low time it is pretty good, it's under 3 seconds per a round. When you have a fully trained crew in this tank when they reach when they reach 100%. Church church reverse is good at uh, 31. Gun depression, it is fan fantastic. 15 downwards, so you can hit fight with this if you must, while only showing the top half of the front of the tank here when you are using the hills, widely enough. 20 degrees up for gun elevation, which is good. With the... With the good aiming time of about 2.2 uh, seconds and the aiming uh, with the accuracy of 0.42 you can fully aim in onto your target and fire while you are loading the uh, loading the next round which is pretty nice survival ability just like the japanese jiha the armor it is completely rubbish as with the hit points, 240 hit points if you are at the wrong place at the wrong time, you can be killed easily enough. With paper thin armor, the crew, and the modules, they can be damaged easily enough. Armor in the front, it is 25 for the hull. In the front side, 25, 20 for the hull rear armor. Turret armor, it is 35 in the front. Side and rear for the turret armor, it is 25. If you angle your armor well, well enough, you may be able to ricochet a few rounds. Besides that, everything can penetrate you easily enough. Now the mobility for the tank, weighing about 16 tons, fully upgraded. You are somewhat mobile of a light Lightish medium tank at this tier with the 240 horsepower engine. You have about 15 horsepower to 1 ton. That means you can easily reach the top speed of 40 km when you are on flat terrain going in a straight line or going downhill easily enough. 15 reverse speed it is good as well. With the good hull traverse of being about 30, 33 and a half with the church traverse of uh, 31 you can quickly turn the hull and the turret around in a hurry if you have to concealment it is pretty good for being a 
light tank classified in the Chinese line. The base uh, concealment rating, when the vehicle it is saying still, it is 16.5. Six, 16.5 is pretty good, but you can increase it even more with the camouflage perk, camouflage net, camouflage paint, and using the, the terrain around you as well. On, on the move, it is 12.4. Spotting, it is not that great nor bad. 330 meters. When you have binocular telescope on and with the view range increase perks as well, you can easily have about 450 meters view range out of this tank easily enough. Radio, it is pretty good at 574 meters. Let's get into the research part of the tank now. The research for the uh, Jiha is an easy tank to go through as you can just get the necessary experience and credits right away to move on to the M5A1 if you want to. The only piece of equipment that is transferable is the 47mm gun. Besides that, everything else on the tank here, it is usable on the Jiha only. Let's begin off with the tracks. If you are going to be mounting all of the equipment onto the tank here, you will, you will have to get the second pair of tracks. As the whole traverse changes from 30 to 32. Engines you have three to use. The first one it is 170, second one it is 200, third it is 240. All of them they are usable on the Chiha only. So if you are just going through this tank ASAP, it is quite the viable option just to use the first engine which offers you 170 horsepower throughout the entire grind if you want to as long as you do not mind having a bad horsepower to ton ratio. If you want to have a slightly better horsepower to, to ton ratio, use the second or third engine here as they will get you a slightly better horsepower to ton ratio. Radios, you have uh, three to use. All of, all of them, they are usable on the Chiha only. The first one it is 350, second one it is 425, the top one it is 550. Getting the second and the third radio here, it is optional for you. You can use the first radio on the tank here throughout the entire grind if you want to. But if you want to have a slightly better signal range, use the second or the third radio here. It is up to you. Turts, you have two to use. You can just use the Type 97 turret and either the 57mm or the 47... use the 57mm or the 45mm gun throughout the entire, entire grind for the first turret until you get to the M5A1. But if you want to have a slightly better turret with more hit points, better view range, and slightly better gun handling stats, unlock the second turret here as the turret it is slightly better in those areas only. Now the guns themselves. You have the 57mm gun, which is not that uh, great. The 47mm gun, it is rubbish as well. And then the 47mm gun here. In my personal opinion, the 47mm gun here, this is the best gun out of the three, as it has the rate of fire, the uh, damage, the penetration value, 
the accuracy and the aiming time out of all of them. The 57mm gun, it is not that great, but you can use it throughout the entire grind if you want to. But be warned, due to the bad penetration value, you will have a problem penetrating enemy tanks with that gun. Now, the 45mm gun, you would have had this gun unlocked already as it was used on the Type A B, yeah? Or, or the Vickers Marquee Type B. You have a high rate of fire, better, pen, better penetration value compared to the previous gun, with a lower damage output per a shot, with a better aiming time. So, the 45mm gun is not that bad, as long as you do not mind doing pretty poor damage per a shot with a good aiming time. My, recommenda my recommendation is use the 47mm use the 47 millimeter gun throughout the entire grind and get to it ASAP as this is the best gun on the tank hill and it will help you get through the rest of the grind on the tank ASAP. So you can get to the M5A1, which is a pretty good uh, tank that plays just like the American M5, uh, M5 Stuart. Let's get to the consumables, ammunition layout, equipment, and how are you going to be playing the Jiha? Let's uh, begin off uh, with the consumables. I would go with a small first aid kit and a small repair kit to treat the crew members and the marginal damage that I will be taking. It is up to you if you want to use consum consumables or not at this tier. Ammunition, you have a lot of ammo to use with the 47mm gun. 104 rounds of uh, ammo. In general, you will never run out, run out of ammo in this tank. The majority of the ammo you will be using it is AP, as you can penetrate most of the tanks easily enough with AP. But be warned, you may have to use a PCR at times when you are going up against a target that you have a problem penetrating, such as a tier 4 or a tier 5 tank that is quite well armored, such as a Valentine, a Hetzer, the KB-1, T-34, the Matilda, and, and etc., which begin to have pretty good armor at this tier, so using a PCR on them, they must at times. Using a PCR, each round will cost you, it is 1600 or 4 gold per a round. HE, it's a viable option to use against in the armor targets and artillery itself. You should have, at least as, uh, 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 you, when it comes to a PCR use, you should have at a minimum 10 rounds uh, in the ammo count, in case if you need to use it in a hurry. Now, the equipment to make this vehicle be a bit of a passive scout when I need be, and also be a bit of a sniper as well. I went with the camouflage net and the binocular telescope to increase my viewing when it is being used. The other pieces of equipment that you can use if you want to, based upon your play style for this tank, you can go with the enhanced gunning drive to have a better aiming time, coded optics to have a better view range when it is on, have a plus 10 view range increase, which is permanent, which is quite nice, and vents to improve the tank performance and the crew performance by a bit. Now, how are you going to be playing the Jiha? The tank itself it's a jack of all trades type of tank, so you can fill any of these roles in a hurry if you have to, but you will not be that good in them at all. 
as other tanks may be better at these vaults, as they are more more specialized in those vaults compared to the Chiha. As they as the Chiha will be okay in them compared to compared to the others. The walls for the Chiha it can fill in a hurry if it need be, being a light tank, being a flanking tank, being a support tank, being a long distance to medium distance sniper, and being a passive scout as well if need be for your team. Based upon the map and what is going on in the match, you can switch in between all of these walls in a hurry if you have to, but be warned, the Jihad it is not great at, uh, at uh, all of them at the same time. So going with the correct equipment selection and perks for your crew, this will help a bit and make yourself a little bit better in a certain role or play style as well. I find the Chiha, if you know what you are doing, you can do quite well in the Chiha when you are playing the tank as a very aggressive frontline tank, when you have some backup. I have two replays to show you how well you can do in the Chiha. Let's go to those two replays now. This uh, replay, I will show you how well you can do in the Chiha when you are not top tier. This match, I will show you how well you can do in the, in the Chiha when you are playing it toward its strengths and weak, weak uh, weaknesses when you are playing it uh, quite uh, cautiously and being mostly of a uh, support role when you are in a top tier match uh, like this. The vehicle speed itself, it is very good uh, on flat terrain, so you can easily reach the 40 km mark easily enough. Right now, the, the team have a good divide at the moment, half of the team going north, the other half going south. I will support my team push on this front. With the Chiha terrible armor and low amount of hit points, it is quite vital that you use the terrain around you to protect yourself. Right now I am getting m myself to a dune here. Well, I can use the very good gun, gun depression, to shoot at anything that come into my my view range. Seeing nothing, I begin to move up. Let's speed this replay up a bit. I see nothing. Here I am using using the terrain here to cover myself a bit. The T thirty fours here I did get one penetrating shot on one. A second on on that same T thirty four. Let's speed this up a bit. The enemy team is on the losing flag now as my team focused their fire on the enemy tanks. So it's 5 3 right now. With what backup I have, I am making a bit of a base push, being quite cautious at the, at the moment. That Valentine wheel I ricocheted. The Valentine at at this TL it have pretty good armor. So I switched to APCR. I hit the lower plate of the engine engine deck. 
with the decent pen that the Jiha have with the 47 millimeter gun you need to make sure you aim your shots to penetrate where you can penetrate the en enemy tank here if I was using regular AP I could have uh, not penetrated the Vantine wheel this is where my usefulness to my team comes to a end we won this uh, match by uh, capping for playing this tank mostly on a uh, on a support role for the majority of the match I did quite well for the two kills that I got I did about 540 damage that is not too bad when you are not a top tier. In the next replay, I will show you how well you can do in the Jiha when you are going to be playing the tank quite uh, quite uh, aggressively. Let's go to that replay now. This uh, match, I will show you how well you can do in the Jiha when you are playing it quite aggressively. Be warned though, with the terrible armor and low amount of hit points you can be killed easily enough. I will speed the replay up a bit so I can get to the front line faster. The team divided up quite good, so half of us went right, middle, and then the artillery stay at the base area. The BT-7 here, I tried to get a shot off at it, but I did not. Seeing the BT-7 is off of my radar, I move uh, f forward to the front line more. Right now, they are the Covenanter in front, in front of me and the T28 Also, a A20 Let's speed this up a bit more Getting to the corner here I use my rate of fire on the uh, Covenanter to finish it off It's not a lot but I, but I did finish the Covenant off. With my help, my ally finished the A20 off. I switched to a PC around here to penetrate this Matilda front armor. A PC rounds, you should only be using them against heavily armored tier 4s and 5s only. Besides that, regular AP can penetrate most of the tanks easily enough. I got a lucky ricochet there. I'm I'm in a bit of a bad situation right now as I am by myself for the most part except for the Covenanter. There's a Matilda 4 there. A uh, enemy artillery did did finally finish me off. If the material fort didn't uh, lit me up, I would have had used up the rest of my AP TR rounds to finish it off. This replay I did quite well for playing quite uh, quite aggressively. I should have had. Uh, moved at the end there knowing artillery probably was aiming at me besides that this replay i did quite well for playing quite a quite aggressively getting myself one kill and finishing off some low health tanks as, as well 
I got myself uh, 800 uh, damage over the one kill that I got. Let's go to the garage now to do a brief recap on the Chiha. Let's do a brief recap on the Chiha itself. The tank itself, it is not that great nor bad for being a uh, jack of all trades type of uh, tank. This means you can switch in between walls if you have to in a hurry, but you will not be that good at at them um, exactly. So when you are switching in between all, the, all these walls, you have to remember to know how to play that wall quite well, know how to use the appropriate tactic and a strategy at the time if you want to survive and do quite well in the match. The Jiha in general, it's one of those tanks that it is not that bad nor good, it is just average in uh, general. So remember, if you play towards the vehicle's strengths and weaknesses, you can do quite well in the Jiha. I hope that you have learned a thing or two about the Jiha and how to use it properly. If you like this video, leave a like, a comment, and even follow my channel as well. Good luck on the battlefield everyone.